Hello! Today we're taking a look at the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Mud Pencils and see how they perform in a simple drawing. Hello wonderful people and welcome to a new video. In the last video about the pe uh, perfect pencil I have told you about my little purchase of the Pit Graphite Mod set too. I'm not sure why, but I enjoy using graphite pencils a lot as the single medium for, draw for drawings right now. And I don't want to add any watercolors on top, just plain monochromatic drawing is what I want to create. Still with love for animals of course, so in addition to a few single pencils I was missing in the range I had before, I got myself also a whole set of these. They promised to be more matte than other graphite pencils and I was curious. As I mentioned in the last video, I like how affordable graphite pencils are as a supply in comparison to other art media. Graphite pencils were my medium of choice when I just started with art as a teen and bring so many good memories to me. As far as I'm aware, the Pit Graphite Mud come in two different sets, a smaller one and this, which is the bigger one. In the set I have eight pencils ranging in hardness from HB to 14B, a blending stump, an eraser and a sharpener. Let's just jump ahead and talk about the sharpener, which was such a big thing in the last video first. This one actually works well. It's not special, it gives a standard cone, not a long one, and if you prefer that, but the blade is actually sharp and I was able to sharpen all the pencils very comfortably. The blending stump too works just as intended. I don't use them a lot in my drawings, but they can be useful. Same goes for the eraser. It's the slightly smaller version of the PVC free eraser by Faber Castell which I use in the big version all the time and it works very well. Now let's take a very close look at the main reason why I bought the set, the pencils. In the background you can already see me draw with them. For the subject I chose a sparrow, a bird well known to most of us. I feel very fond of them and chose a reference photo from Pixabay that is linked down below. Maybe one day I'll be quick and will be able to get these drawings done while outside. That would be wonderful, but right now I have to use reference photos. The pencils are black with a golden print on one side and an off-white one on the back. Both sides show the hardness, which I find handy as it's quickly visible. The length, oh, it's a standard one for a pencil and is about 17 centimeters. The pencils are light and feel nice. When I swatched them on paper, the lead felt a bit harder than what I'm used to from other graphite pencils. Not as smooth and soft as I was used to. This feeling did not affect how dark they looked on paper and in comparison to the regular Faber-Castell graphite pencils and Stedler Mars Lumograph, they were just the same in darkness. Mars Lumographs are, by the way, the pencils I've been using for over a decade and they feel incredibly smooth on paper. I guess I was just used to the feeling of them. What I was most curious about after swatching was their shine or the lack of it. The packaging promises them to be matte and in comparison they are. There is only very little reflection when you turn the page um, that comes from the graphite, while other pencils are almost, sh almost shiny. There is some reflection though, especially in the in B14, one um, where it's applied very thickly for the darkest values. So you can see it like only in very little spaces. So if you look for a completely matte pencil without any shine, you might want to use a charcoal pencil for the darkest values to avoid this little bit of reflection too. Another thing that I realized was that I had a Mars Lumograph pencil that behaved 
out of order. It's for sure one of my oldest ones. The 8B one has shown no shine whatsoever and was almost darker and more black than any other of the Mars Lumograph ones and could compare with the Pit Graphite Mod 14B one. I'm not sure what the deal is with that one, but it's for sure a bit confusing. After swatching, I also tried blending the pencil with the stump, which worked well. Better with the softer leads, which was expected, as the softer the leads are, the more graphite they contain, and that makes blending easier. I also tried erasing. Here, on the other side, the harder pencils erased better, as too was expected, but even the softest 14B one was well erasable within those boundaries. You can see the results in the photo shown in the video. If you compare the erasability with the normal Faber-Castell pencils, so they're a bit harder to erase in pencils of the same hardness. So what was left was to draw with them to get a full feeling for how they behave, what's possible and what qualities might not have shown themselves during the swatching process. By the way, if you liked the video so far, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more art videos and reviews. In case you like watercolors, check out the watercolor database sunandcolors.com too, with over 1500 swatches and light fastness tests so far. The database is continuously growing and free accessible to everyone. When drawing the bird, the first few strokes felt a little bit weird to me, but I got used to the feeling of these pencils quickly. They are easy to use and they create beautiful values simply. For the whole draw drawing I used only four of the pencils and I truly didn't, didn't miss anything. Just in the final steps, when I used a precision eraser, I had a bit of trouble get back some of the white deta details that I had lost in the process. During the drawing, the pencils almost fake felt like they contained some charcoal too. The dark blacks aren't just the same as I've been used from other graphite pencils. I did try some water over them too and they did not smudge at all. So they can be used as a base layer under watercolors. Indeed, it's something I want to try with my next drawing as it can create a cool effect probably. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this purchase and although they will not replace my favorite graphite pencils, the Pit Graphite Mod are a great addition to my collection. There are just qualities in both that I enjoy and for me art supplies are still a lot about haptics and not looks only. I might be weird about it though. <laughs> But to feel how the lead feels on paper and how brushes feel on paper and how paper feels are a big thing to me and it adds a lot to my personal experience of art supplies and my opinions about them. I guess that's just a personal touch and it's different for everyone probably. Do you have something like that? What is, is it that you like about your supplies? How they look, feel? flow. I mean, it's just a different feeling that you have, right? Also, did you try the matte graphite pencils too? What do you think about them? Did you use them and what did you create? Let me know in the comments. For scans of all the swatches, um, take a look at my blog that is linked down below. There you will find a written review too. Additional swatches from all of my tests and mixing charts you will find in the Kofi gallery where you can tip me to support the channel. Thank you! If you like, take a look at some of the other videos and have a wonderful day everyone. I hope to see you soon. Bye!